welcome back everyone. This is the Park Kitty Kid 76 here again. And this is the first video of 2015. Since I haven't done with my first update videos as well as discussion videos, and more of my videos are expecting to coming up soon. But for now, I will have to show the tour of all my stuff in my room since I haven't shown for the first time in my video. As you can see here, this is where I'm about to show my room right now. As you can see right there, this is where I'm about to show all these stuff right here, all these collections of it, as well as right here, and everything else is in here. As you can see, since I have not show in, in my room right now, that's where my room is to film in this video. So let me show you first of all of all these demonstration videos just for now. This is my Sony CD radio cassette recorder model CDF S05. This is where I'm about to to bought it at Walmart for $48 back in 2012. It runs perfectly and it sounds great no matter what I've been hearing for this inexpensive radio. Right here it says power buttons on it. It has mode, display, enter, memory, auto presets including tape, CD, radio band and audio in as well as mega bass buttons right there and there are volume controls right there and there are presets as well as play and pause function and stop button and their tuning right there as well as battery operated some audio in inputs there so you could put the mp3s and um, mp3 disc that I have it right here since I haven't shown this video at the, at the very moment and, it's pl and it plays on CDR RW playback and it's the and the logo right there and it has uh, all the tape functions in there is where you play it on, on this tape as well as the CDs to play right there you can listen to CDs of all these functions right right there and and for the back of it this is the headphone jack on the back and the big Sony logo right there Yep, this is interesting radio boombox that I just got it back in 2012. Now onto my other stuff. This is the one that I haven't show you in this video for a while. It says Sony CD Walkman and it plays on MP3 disc and built-in FM. As you can see, all these buttons including radio on memory, radio off, and there's a tuning functions up and down the back functions on the left, the forward functions on the right, and it has FM, 40 presets, ID3 tag, 3H stamina, and there's a Sony Walkman logo right there, and a model number is DNF340. As you can see right there, as you can take a look right there, this is where I put this, uh, the batteries in it, you know, the battery inside of this, uh, the tray for the CD Walkman and on the back you can see right there the serial number the portable CD player right there it has G protection right there and here's what I never saw the hold button you know the CD functions is has been hold or stop or something well you figured this out and it has a remote right there and then there's a headphone jack and to open this tray to open this up and um, and on the back it has a DC in 4.5 volts. I ordered it online at Walmart for about $50 back in 2011 after my birthday. And now let's take a look at the other one. Another name brand company that is next up right there is my Sony portable Blu-ray disc player models BDP XX1000. This is an interesting BD player that it has a, a good quality in high definition to play Blu-rays as well as DVDs and here are the functions in there it has a power charge and hold and it has a sensor on the right and if you could look right there 
the Sony logo and it has play, pause, stop, preview and next, the volume buttons, the home button, the top menu and return and it has the enter buttons in the center and all the other functions up, down, left and right and it has pop-up menu, display, options and sound and also has a remote control in here and it has the batteries on the back and all these logos in here and it has portable blu-ray disc DVD player and a model number there and it has Sony Make Believe and a blu-ray logo with, right there it has a 10.1 5 hour charging and it has a 1080p and it has HDMI it plays on blu-ray and DVD and USB you could put all the files in it whatever the functions in it and to open it up you can see right there inside the, uh, the things in there to put the disc and there's the lens right in there and it has um, some hold button right there it has a phone jack A and B the USB port the audio in and out and the video in and out and HDMI output there the Ethernet LAN port and some DC in and also I haven't shown this box right there and on the spine you can see right, right there it has all the, the specs in it, the descriptions in there and on the back same thing it has a high resolution widescreen LCD and also the, uh, the supply accessories as well as um, in-car charger AC adapter audio video cable and compact remote commander and this uh, the formats there the DVD logo the CD logo the full HD Bravia Sync Dolby Digital DTS Java the BD Live HDMI and ACV HD and the DVD and Blu-ray regions this is the one that my dad bought in at Walmart back of December of 2011 I love my Sony portable blu-ray disc player I could watch a blu-ray disc in high resolution and this quality is pretty good now on to my next item is my Toshiba DVD R VCR combo models DVR 620 KU and it has a Toshiba logo there and also has a um, on standby button and a VHS and Hi-Fi logo an open and close button for DVD tray and a DVD logo and rewritable and it plays of all, all formats and, and on top of that you can see the logos in there and the display there it has all the functions there VCR functions, the shiny display the tracking and dubbing the selected button for VCR or DVD and the DVD function stop play and record it has a three jacks and a DVD in plus it has a fully function remote control with all these basics in here as you can see right in this thing right there all these main functions in here and also on the back there's a double A batteries right in the back well it plays on VHS and also on DVD and as you can see right there take a look inside this this is the inside of a VCR and also on the back it has a connection for this you know it has all these jacks on the, on the back I got this for my birthday back of last year and it runs very well now let's take a look at my collection of DVDs that I have there as you can see all of the collections of DVDs that I have in total as well as a blu-ray I have a bunch of them and take a look at the other one 
more of my DVDs that I have right there. Let's take a look at my VHS collections up there. This is where I have eight of these VHS that I recently got it at the thrift stores a few years back. And also, if you can look it up right there, just look right there, more of these VHS that I have a um, few of them. And more of these. As well as right there. More of my VHS that I looked at it to this thing. This is the one I have in a, the VHS, the pre recorded VHS. The other one that I used to record it. Well, it's great to have it on my VHS collection. Now, on to the next one. This is my Logitech iPod MP3 dock. This is the one I got it for my birthday after I got it. And it has a big volume knobs as well as the display timer. And it has a shuffle and, and repeat. And it has clock set on and off and alarm view and set. And you can see on the back and it has an auxiliary input as well as the input jacks on the back. And to this one, this is a smaller size remote control. It has uh, functions in it right there. And it has the same thing in there, shuffle and repeat and power button. And on the back, this is the, uh, the lithium batteries on the back. Along with came in this one right there to put it on that, you see? This is the one I haven't shown this demonstration, including some of my stuff. As you can look at, on top of that, there's the inputs right there, you can see. To put the iPods and MP3s and to hook it up on the back, you could put in the back to play CDs as well. Yep, that's the look at the demonstration for now. Now on to the other one. This is the Samsung HD cable box. It has a Dolby Digital, HD, HDMI, and USB port. As well as my Vizio HD TV. It has a 1080 Full HD, the SRS True, True Sound HD, and True Volume. And it has a Dolby Digital, HDMI, HD TV, and energy saving. And this Vizio logo right there. As you can see on the back, this is the jack right there. As well as we know, and the and this model number there, if I could see it on that, well, yeah. And this big logo Vizio right there is harder to see. As you can look right there. And it has a remote control right there. You know the the functions in here, the volumes and channels, as well as media, mute and last, and it has HDMI button, AV and TV, and the numeric buttons in there, and I can see the thing, well, you know, the inputs, button functions in there, and over, and you can see on the back, this is a double A batteries right inside of there and has a cool logo of Vizio interesting remote control and in addition this is my Kobe AM FM alarm clock radio model CRA58 it has a PM and alarm set on the clock display the tuning display right down there it has um, FM AM tuning and volume it has a little bell logo on the left, as well as the model numbers in there. As well as on off switch, the clock and sleep button, the big alarm button, the hour and minutes button has time, and it has a snooze sleep off. Yep. 
I haven't showed this demonstration for a while because um but I show one of my other clocks in our certain video. Here's my blank DVDs that I have to record all the movies and shows right there. As well as the others that I have right there. I just record it onto a TV and recording onto a computer. As well as having to show all these CDs right there. Much of a thing right in, in particular things. It has a space on there. As well as other CDs that I haven't showed there. And these and these are all my tapes and everything, including this one. As well as my Sony Walkman. It has AM FM weather band 40 watts. And the model number is um WMFX290. If you could look at it right there, I had to release the, the cover there. This is the um, TV tuner that has an AVLS, the display here, and it has a MB tune mode, FM mode, AVLS mode, it has an enter button, some preset tuning, the menu and set, and all the three function buttons are AM, FM. TV, WB, and radio off. And it has a Sony logo there and Walkman logo there and a tape right inside. It has um, all the specs there. And this uh, battery is to open this up. Be yeah, but it's broken. This is a very interesting Walkman radio right there and more stuff like um, headphone jacks the hold button and volume and to open this tray and to open the tape take a look inside here this inside of the tape so my sister gave me the present as a Christmas gift back in 2004. Yep, this runs very well. It plays on any music, whatever you like, as well as on radio stations that I prefer. Yep, this is an interesting radio Walkman. I got it. And last but not least, this is my Panasonic Mini DV camcorder. It has a 30 times zoom optically. It has three times optical zoom, 2.7 dialog, 16.9 white LCD, and it has one touch navigation and joystick control, the Panasonic logo, and some SD card logo. And as you can see right there, this is the cap right there, the lens, the lens cover. And it has uh, the zooming thing. And there are volume controls up there next to the zoom. Where you can see that. It has a photo shot. The on off switch. The menu button. The joystick controls. The rotation knob controls. The power button and record. And the light button there. And it has an um, open eject thing right there. There's the DB inside of that. And it has a built-in speakers. And as you can see right there, the model number is PVGS39. And some precaution notice. And with this thing there, this is the SD card slot right there. And it has a uh, audio manual focus and the reset little buttons there and some LCD panel lens right there and also the lens right there the the focus on it each one I never seen this uh, the focusing thing right there whatever they call it 
you know, something right there. And it has some batteries in it, you know. Lie, lie on batteries. Yep, it records on playing the park and, you know, the family and relatives and um, graduations as well as weddings and everything in it. Well, this is an interesting camcorder that I got this back in 2006. Along with that, it has um, a strap, you know, the carry handle strap right there. This is an interesting camcorder that I have right there. And in addition, I haven't shown all of the items that I forgot. This is the power cord right there to charge it up, as well as this one to connect it from here. You see right there, it, it plays on whatever the the power outlets right there. If you could look at it right there, this is to put this on on the camcorder, whatever it put it, and also the Panasonic video camera AC adapter. It has charge in there. As you could put it here, once watch where it goes. And it has a charge indicator light right there. Since I charge it right there, originally this is the, to put some of the, my, my charger there. This is the other charger there. Well, so this is the one I have been demonstrating this, so I'll show you in a certain video. And there you have it. And that's the look at the tour of my room video. And I almost can't wait till next week's Super Bowl, which I'll do my first discussion video of Super Bowl 49. If anyone who is interested in my collection of my room video to see the stuff I show you, just let me know in the comment section. So I hope you enjoy this video, and I'll see you then.